Okay, so in this demo here, we're going to be looking at using filtration as a separation technique. I have here a piece of filter paper. They come in all different shapes and sizes here, depending on the grade of the filter paper. There's these microscopic pores that we can't actually see, and those will actually vary depending on how large I think the residue is actually going to be. So uh, I'm going to imagine you would have pre-weighed this filter paper here. After we've actually collected up the uh, residue, we would weigh it again. By subtracting off the mass of this empty filter paper, we can actually figure out how much mass we actually collected. So. For this filter paper here, I'm gonna start off, I do wanna put it up in this funnel, so I'm gonna fold it in half. We're gonna fold it in half once more, okay? Creating a little cone-like shape, okay? Usually we wet it a little bit, uh, just to make sure it can retain the shape, especially when it is uh, in the uh, funnel eventually. So I'm just gonna plop this into the funnel here, okay? Remember, I had already pre-weighed it when it was dry. Uh, after collecting up the residue, uh, again, we're just gonna put in a little bit of water just to douse it a little bit, just to make sure it sort of retains that shape there. Uh, eventually, once I've collected up the residue, I'm gonna wait till that is dry again. I'm gonna uh, weigh that afterwards, and then by subtracting, I can figure out uh, how much we've collected. So uh, I'm just gonna do a simple demonstration here between calcium chloride and uh, sodium carbonate. It's gonna be a double placement reaction here. Uh, we're just going to just pour this into this test tube here. So just an empty test tube. Uh, this is a double placement that forms a precipitate, so that's the calcium chloride solution. Uh, in a similar way here, we're going to just open up the sodium carbonate. We're going to just form that precipitate reaction here. Okay. Should happen pretty quick, okay? So there we go. Suddenly we take we have taken two aqueous solutions here. We've gotten this cloudy, uh, milky sort of material here, okay? Stir it up a little bit here. Let's say I want to separate this by filtration. So the solid is definitely going to be too large to pass through the filter paper. Uh, the water in the background here should be able to get through no problem. Just going to dump it through this filter paper here. Okay. And again, I'm assuming that all the water would then uh, go through the funnel there. We're going to call the liquid that cuts through the filtrate. Okay. The solid that gets left behind because it's uh, too large to actually get through the pores, we're going to call that the residue. You'll notice there's actually a lot of the residue left in my test tube here. Uh, you can actually wet this here with just some extra water. Okay, just roll it around a bit here. I want to make sure I collect up all the solid and have a good determination for the mass of the solid uh, formed. So. Uh, depending on sort of the size of the filter paper here, the funnel that you're using here, it may take more or less time for the water to actually uh, get its way through. Uh, but you already see that the water is already dripping through here. Eventually, the solid will be collected here. Uh, sometimes fancier uh, funnels, we call them Buchner funnels here, we can actually hook up an aspirator, uh, actually use sort of some negative pressure to actually suck the solution through to sort of speed up the process here. Uh, in this case here, we're just waiting on gravity to just uh, pull everything through. So we just fast forward, uh, we're going to imagine all the liquid uh, just cuts all the way through. Uh, the filter paper along with the solid here will still be fairly wet, so you're going to leave it for a little while, uh, let uh, all the water evaporate off. You can then pull the filter paper off and then just put it on a mass balance, compare it to the mass of just the filter paper by itself, and there you get the mass of the residue. We've separated this based on the different uh, sizes, so the solid couldn't get through the filter paper, while the water, in this case here, the filtrate, uh, had no problem getting through. Thanks guys. And this is another shot of the uh, filtration after it's been completed. So we have the residue that's left behind in the filter paper here. The filter has gone its way through. Uh, I'm gonna still see a little bit of moisture left behind by the filter paper. Uh, just leave it in the air uh, to evaporate. Eventually you can just take this filter paper here, just lift it upwards here, and I would imagine, again, once all the water is evaporated here, we would have a lot of residue just left over, okay? By subtracting the mass of the empty filter paper, we can figure out how much residue is left.